Okay. Okay, I was checking my comments and I noticed that Andrew Hutton asked me about shipping containers, diagrams, and the such. And I get this question a lot. Um, so I thought I would just make a quick video. Uh, you just go to the web and search a SketchUp for the web and hit enter. And it should come up right down here somewhere. SketchUp for the web. And then right here, you will see Start Modeling. Okay. And I'm signed in already because I have, you know, a Google account that stays signed in. But most likely, uh, before you start. Okay. I agree. And so if you're not signed into Google, it'll ask you to sign in with Google. Okay, that's really the only thing to ask. Start modeling. Now, what you'll do is you'll go over here to the right and it's one, two, three, four icons down. It's components, okay? And you just type in here what you want to find, shipping containers okay and of course you have to spell it correctly not, sh not Russian shipping containers <laughs> okay and then you will get all of these you just have to go down and find the one you want this blue one's pretty and you can place it okay now I have used uh, I use SketchUp Pro so this is a little different for me I can, um, this, this format's a little different. I can see the description. So, uh, I know like this one's probably longer. Yeah, this is a 40 footer. So this is a 20 footer and that's a 40 footer. And if you'll look, you might have to just, um, look, look over here on the left. There are your tools down here at the bottom is a good one. It's the orbit because you can use your mouse to orbit around and also zoom in and out. And then if you want to check the dimensions on these is, uh, where's the, okay. There's a dimension tool. Again, there it is. Tape measure. I'm used to the SketchUp Pro, so I have to be retrained sometimes. You can measure it and they're usually eight feet. That says seven feet eleven by, you know, and then you can go down here and check your length to see that if it's what you want, thirty feet. So that was a thirty footer, not a forty footer. Okay, so you can do this with just about anything. I do this all the time. I will be drawing and I'll be lazy and I'll just say, hmm, let me get a toilet, you know, or plumbing fixtures, you know. And there's the toilet. See? And people, the, the SketchUp community is really good, okay? The, you'll find the quality, I don't know why it keeps wanting me to act like I'm leaving. The quality, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm hitting the back button instead of the pointer. Again, I'm used to using SketchUp Pro where my toolbar is up here, where the, where the browser is. So you can see the quality is really good. I mean, the SketchUp community is awesome. You know, I pay a yearly subscription for SketchUp Pro. Um, now, what what you'll do, what what will happen is you won't find uh, what we a lot of times what you're seeing me use to do like drawings is uh, called Layout, and that's a program that comes with SketchUp. I'll just show you right quick. Here's layout on my desktop. Layout is the program that uh, we use to create construction documents. In other words, it's the it's where you pick your paper size, 
let's say I was going to create a letter, a landscape letter. I can pick a template, then I can go over here and I can insert the drawing that I've saved. Okay, now if you're using the browser version, I'm not sure if the browser version works with layout, okay? Uh, so if you're going to make yourself a plan, you know, you might have to come up with different views like, um, you know, set it up where you're looking down. And as a matter of fact, I'm not sure if, uh, if you can set up the proper views. But anyway, there, there's plenty of things you can do with the free version. You can just set up your, once you do your drawing, you can just do this and you can always do screenshots. You know, you can just control print screen and then save your, save your drawings. And you can also save right here. You can save your, um, and this is because you have a Google account that you logged in on. It's most likely saving it in a Google Cloud somewhere, but you can save it here. And I don't want to leave. So anyway, I, I told, uh, was it Andrew Hutton? I would make a quick video on this and he was curious about, and it's kind of funny, I've gotten several messages about these containers uh, and so again it's under components and then you'll go right here and search you can search for anything I mean try it try it out it's really fun so anyway I hope that helps and uh, see you soon